Well, Buchanan Street went a bit Jurassic Park this afternoon mm. when a T-Rex took a stroll around the town. Yes, it actually did. Let's see how Glasgow shoppers responded to prehistoric puppets in the city centre. <laughs> It's a bit kind of like uh, imagine if Steve Irwin was to was to present dinosaurs today. That's how we like to think of it. The show's been running for lots of years now. It's been all around the world. Uh, it takes takes a good sort of month or so for each puppet to be made. Um, so there's a lot. Hey, girl, come on, settle down. Yes, yeah, so a lot of work goes in. There's a lot of people involved, and uh, you know, I think. The realistic, uh, the dinosaurs are so realistic, you can, you can tell. It's been wonderful, everyone's, we, we get mixed reactions. Some people are completely scared and run in the opposite direction. And other people, as you can see, love to give them a good kiss. We've got our juvenile T-Rex. We've all got sort of a bunch of nice, cute little babies, a little uh, seven-month-old T-Rex, some Triceratops, a little Parasaurolophus, uh, and we go right up to a big, giant Titanosaur, which was the uh, largest dinosaur alive. They love it. They are absolutely amazing. Everyone's been coming up and having a bit of a cuddle, saying hello, taking some photos. Oh, well, I think it's because it has the same kind of inquisitive nature that they do. It's a mixture of awe and sort of childish intrigue. It's like the same of going back to when you were a kid and enjoying uh, the surprise of these huge, huge creatures. And they're so foreign to us that it's, it's just that, that sense of spectacle. There's a lot of love and attention that these little guys need. Oh, there you go. Oh. But, uh, you know, it's a job that has a lot of perks. <laughs> It's an experience where you can really get close to the dinosaurs you always imagined, and that's what makes it so special. Now, we couldn't let you out there in Glasgow have all the fun, so we had to get some studio dinosaurs. Yes, we did. Oh, to be a friend, Peter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Joining us now are dinosaur zookeepers, Sean Morton and Sophie McBean, and they brought along some special guests. We just met one there, yes. First of all, introduce us to your friends here. Who have you got there, well, uh, Sophie? This, this one here is the, uh, the Triceratops. Uh, which is three-horned face. It's an American dinosaur. This one well-known, little Triceratops. And the other one around What's there is the uh, the Leelanosaura. Leelanosaurus. It was actually named. It was actually <laughs> named. The guy who one. found it was uh, Tom Rich. who okay. was a paleontologist, and he actually named it after his daughter, who was called Leellen. So ah, that's Leelanosaura. Yeah, yeah. Dinosaur hey, absolutely. Leander. What else did you want in life? <laughs> Amazing. Now the only thing that springs to mind is I see you, Sean. As soon as you said anything to do with dinosaurs, I automatically thought of Ross in Friends. Are you, are you that man that knows everything about yeah, dinosaurs? Yeah, I can't get a date. What? No. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> well, I have to tell you. Jennifer Aniston looks yeah, fantastic. That's true. <laughs> that the end. But what about what was the inspiration for you guys with this? Uh, well, I think you know what's not to love about dinosaurs. It's it's one of those things that that it, I think it just brings out the kids in anyone, no matter how old you are. You, you forget, and especially with these ones, you, they're so realistic. You you don't realise. You know, it brings out that child in you, that excitement, and you just want to want to play with them. Yeah, it's so cool. It's got a great. I mean, the, the one thing about it, apart from obviously the puppet the education value for kids must be unbelievable, Sophie. Yeah, it, it's incredible how many budding paleontologists we meet <laughs> along the way. People coming along and I can't even keep up with the facts these kids have. They are <laughs> right on it. Every new discovery, they know so much about their passion. They keep you on your toes. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But what was life like for these guys when... Give us a wee bit of a lesson here on the, the life of the dinosaurs. What was it like when they were alive? Well, the thing is, that, I mean, no one actually really knows. Uh, <laughs> that's the great thing about science. It's the science of imagination. So a lot of it is detective work trying to work out. These two uh, are both from the Cretaceous period. So it was a lot more kind of trees and, and, uh, and, and fauna and, and that sort of thing around this time. <laughs> so these poor guys would have been around when the, uh, when the asteroid hit, I'm afraid. But, uh, uh, you know. Oh, this looks it's very comfy here. And I think we've got uh, <laughs> one of your friends still running around the studio. Oh, John Quigley's made a pal as well. Oh, he's, he's <clears> feeding <throat> on the kitchen. Yeah. Class. 
classic. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let's hope he's not cooking them later with the leftovers. No, but, definitely uh, not. I promise. <laughs> oh, I she she is on a, on a diet at the moment. She's <laughs> a, it's a herbivore, so I do hope it's, it's vegetarian. So do I. We'll be speaking to John about that when we get <laughs> back to the kitchen. <laughs> Where do you normally... I mean, you must take this out and try and reach as many people as possible. I mean, you can round all the country. Yeah, well, we've just finished six weeks in the West End where we had some wonderful audiences there. Now we're, we're taking out on tour till the end of November. So we're hitting... Uh, we're in Theatre Royal, Glasgow, this weekend. Uh, then we're heading off to Perth, Edinburgh, Barrow Furness, and then sort of working our way down, down the rest of the country. I think I've made a friend as well. Yikes! <laughs> oh, 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 she loves yeah. a good scratch She's under the got, chin. Oh, give her, give her a good scratch. Oh, there we, there we go. Mm. Made oh, a friend. So there you go. Lovely. Does that typify the not reaction? Think I would. Uh, I didn't think I would do in a studio. Kind <laughs> 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 of <Yeah. laughs> That's very true. What is the reaction like when you go out with the dinosaur into the street like you did today? It's it's incredible how. <laughs> people immediately believe that it's real. They're there in the moment, the awe, the shock, the excitement. It all sort of goes through this wave of emotion. It's great though, you can even see the eyelids like moving. It's so yeah, real. She's, she's a little though. sleepy today, this one. She's had a big day. She has she's had a big day. She's out last night enjoying the sights of Glasgow. Uh, <laughs> that's a common problem, so yeah. is our producer, Jenny. So uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he knows, he feels her pain. Yeah. It absolutely looks absolutely amazing. magnificent. I'm delighted that it's a great reaction and uh, long may it continue for you guys. I think that's absolutely brilliant. You yeah, know? thank, thank you, you for coming in to meet us. It's lovely to meet you guys, and uh, if you're out there and you fancy meeting dinosaurs, you know where to go now. <laughs> Thank yeah, you very absolutely. much indeed. Well done to Sean and Sophie. I'm sure Sean will get a date sooner or later. <laughs> uh, we have to take a break now, but when we come back, we'll be chatting to Polyphonic Spree, and we have a tune from the BBC Symphony Orchestra. Wow.